All right. All right, so which one to start with? So, okay, as we said, I'm Sid. And I'm John. And if you're just joining us, we are doing our tour of Irish whiskeys. All right, so let's, what's the first one? Let's start with Tullamardu. Tullamardu is a great Irish whiskey. This is probably one of the first ones that I fell in love with. Got a chance to go to Ireland, had... Uh, and, and can I say, these are all brand new bottles. Yep, just opened them. We just sat here and fought with the labels. Yep. Uh, so, uh, I got to go to Ireland and, uh, fell in love with Tullamore Dew. Did, wait, did I go to Ireland? No, you didn't. But, he brought me back this cross and this shirt from the Guinness factory. There's and I know, it's a lovely cross, guys. Yeah, I know. That's, that's going to be happening all night long. So. Editing this video is going to be a blast. So. Tullamore Dew. So, Tullamore Dew. Uh, it's been around. It's a classic Irish whiskey. What are your thoughts right off the nose? I, I love it. We. Um, we yeah. drank a good bottle of it. A one. lot of it. Well, we had some neighbors come over and help. Now, I drink a lot of bourbon, so this is an incredibly different flavor. But man, is it good. I don't think it's incredibly different. I think it's, and I hate to overuse this word, but you know, it's like a little earthier, a little peatier. A little bit. Like but that. The bite is earlier, where a lot of bourbons, you feel the bite back here, down here. But yeah, this one I feel on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, and um, this what is. You, what does that look for? Well, nothing. I'll tell you later. But um, this one's a little bit sweeter. Yes. You know, so I'm I'm glad we started here because I've been drinking, I've been drinking rum earlier. So it's nice to kind of transition into this. So I'm very excited about this. So this. I've been is, drinking gin. So this is really excellent. What are your thoughts? Uh, two thumbs up. Tell them we're doing great. Always two thumbs up. Yeah, so let us know you what your thoughts. You want an Irish whiskey, you want something that people are going to like, that you're going to find. Hey, I know, I know you want some, but you can't have any. You're not of age. That's right. You're only 13. That's right. Um, you want something everyone's going to like. You want something that you can, you know, kind of get with the people that like the sweeter stuff. People like something with a little more edge to it. This is going to be your go-to. That's right. Absolutely. So love it. Two thumbs up. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments about Tell Them We're Due. And uh, we're gonna probably uh, finish this, and then we're gonna move on to the next one. Just a second. All right. So, are you, have you been? Have you? Been, I did it. Yeah. Have you been? No, no, no. Is that know? to you or to me? I, I don't know, and I don't want to know. I, I don't know who this person is, but no. We always get the no. weirdest comments. We do. In the comment section. So the comment should we even? Mm -mm. No, we're not gonna justify it. We're gonna like probably block that person. It's gonna move on. So. Wait, could it be your career as a stripper for the blind? I was a stripper for the blind. Yeah, it's a long story. Anywho, um, yeah, so this is this is pretty great. I mean, as you can tell, we have a lot of different types of bourbon and whiskey, uh, so we're always trying different types. Um, oh, the price range for Telemore Dew is probably somewhere, for us, this bottle probably costs us somewhere in the $30 range or less, maybe $25. It's not How about expensive. you let me Google that? Yeah, you can get bigger bottles, but I mean, it's it's not like going and finding Blanton's or anything like that. It's uh, it's definitely it's definitely affordable. Mm -hmm. I think all of these bottles are way under 40 if I had to guess. So, um, this is normal, wonderful Tullamore Dew. Irish whiskey, triple distilled. Yep. Uh, and total wine and more has it for $23. So there you go, way under 40. I hedged my bet really well, I think. You hedged your bet, yeah. And this, you know, you can get cask finish, you can get 12 year, there are higher end Tom and yeah. you know what, one of these days, we're definitely gonna try all those. Yeah. When I, when I went to Ireland, uh, the, oh wait, Target has it for $21. The person I was traveling with was my boss and we wanted to go to an Irish pub and we wanted to have uh, a real experience with drinking Irish whiskey in a pub with Irish people, uh, you know, and I'm Irish. I mean, I'm part Irish, part American Indian, but I was never really an Irish whiskey person. So we got like Jameson and it was like bottom shelf Jameson, like the cheap stuff that you can get here. I did not enjoy it at all. And I wasn't really drinking a lot of whiskey, a lot of bourbon, so it really hit me harder than it should have. Sorry, the um, lighting is bad in yeah. here on this angle. But uh, I didn't enjoy it. And then some guys came forward. We were doing a tour uh, for several days. And they said, we're going we're gonna to let you experience some really good whiskey. 
and um, Telemore Dew was like my introduction to it. So it, it's great. I love Telemore Dew. As a matter of fact, when I came back from Ireland, my liver was st still upset. I had to get a bottle of something and Telemore Dew is what we got. So. Yeah, you were like having the shakes. Yeah, another story for another day. Uh, that one. All right, let's talk about uh, Bushnell. So, okay, so before we move on, in case you were just joining us, I'm Sid. And I'm John. And, and we, we are, are Mash and Ash. Ash. So tonight I, uh, we're going to the Irish whiskey test, and now we're moving on to Bushnell's. All right, and, and that is uh, Bushnell's what? Black Bush, Irish whiskey, triple distilled, finest blend. Uh, this is the Sherry Cask Reserve, so this is not going to be your just generic old Bushnell's it's going to be a little bit right, higher end. So, all right. This is probably in the, what, $30 range? Yeah, actually $29.99 is what I'm getting finding. Got to love those Irish folks, man. They can make their, their whiskeys inexpensive and good. Absolutely. Did you just... That's, that's alcohol, alcohol abuse. abuse. Is that, Need more? Uh, I'll drink more later, I guess. All right. All right. So put that out there. Everybody can see it. Beautiful. There you go. You always need a napkin. So the other difference you will see here is that John is actually, uh, I don't want to say diluting. I'm diluting a little bit with water. So there's another term for it. It's not dilute, opening it up, whatever. I, I'm going absolutely straight. Yeah, I want to be able to sleep tonight, so I have to add a little bit of water to mine. Oh, wow. Holy cow. So I've not had this before. Um, we have, it does. This is very reminiscent of the uh, IW Harper Cabernet cask. Now Cabernet and Sherry are completely different, but it does have the same. But we also have, is it an Angel's Envy Sherry cask? We, we have, do. Yes, we do. so it's, it's also. Way back in the back. Yeah, so there's there's just a sweetness that the Sherry adds that is, it, it, it's very distinct. So if you're gonna have something that is sherry cask, you're gonna know it. Yeah, it adds a lot to the uh, to the flavor. And this this is outstanding. Wow, this is nice. This is really really good. That's fine. <laughs> I know when you sleep. Uh, so two thumbs up on the uh, the yes. bushels. Yes. So it is very different than the Tolan Redu, which we tried earlier tonight. Yeah. And then so we have the bushels. This is the sherry cask. And um, all right, and please have price range. We did. We did, yep, around 30 bucks. I'm, I'm checking notes over here. Yeah, we haven't got any, anything new, so we're good to go. All hey, right. if you guys have questions, we'll do our best to answer them. We're, we're following the comments here. Um, I will just say, so since we are doing the Irish Whiskey Night, I had to break out the Guinness shirt that John found for me at the Guinness factory. And I'm Irish, so I don't have any Irish t-shirts, so you get Well, the... technically, you're Irish. You should have worn orange. Yeah, I just didn't feel like wearing orange. Bird. So he just decided, no, not orange bird. I don't have anything orange. orange. Um, All my orange stuff is Disney. Well, yes, but it's still like you have a Star Wars shirt that's orange that has Mickey in a still Star Disney, Wars helmet. Still Disney. It is still Disney. Mm. You could have put it on an inside out like you normally do. Accidentally. <laughs> uh, okay, so the question is, which do you prefer? Uh, which do you prefer what of the two? Which do we prefer, Irish whiskey or bourbon? A little clarity on All that. Right, I would so, love to answer well, that question. All right. So, which should we prefer? Yeah. Gregory. <laughs> All right, which, should, no, 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 I, well, yes, Gregory, hi, Gregory. Which do we prefer of these two? Which one do you like better? Whew, honest to God, I love the Bushnells. See, I like the Bushnells, I'm just not, I don't take things as sweet as you do, so that would be great as the occasional kind of fancy thing. I like the Tullam Redu. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick by that. Now, which do we prefer, whiskey or bourbon? You're talking Irish whiskey or bourbon. That's kind of a hard choice for me because there are so many different variations. Um, just whiskey and just bourbon, bourbon. Yeah, bourbon every day. But uh, I think of the two, and I'm, five times on Sunday. I'm preferring the Bush Mills. She's preferring the Tullamore So we're going to have to break the tie with the Sloan. Mm. All right. So this is just me rinsing out my glass. So we've had a. We've done a lot of different bourbons, a lot of different whiskeys. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, sorry. If you move the table, it's too much. Yeah. And uh, so for us to try these is is really cool because, you know, whiskey, bourbon, Irish whiskey, scotch. I, I, cannot, I cannot yet get into scotch. You've done a couple. I've done a couple. 
I had some Lafrogue that I did not enjoy. Well, okay, we had the Lafrogue before we had even broken into bourbon or whiskey. I mean, at that point, I think we were still beer people. Yeah, so a little bit. Maybe you were more vodka, and I was probably doing gin. I walked into the marriage doing gin. Yeah. So I introduced John to gin martinis. Yep. So it, it was not a good time. Maybe we try it again. But anything that pretty much tastes like you're licking the bottom of a hobbit's foot after it walks through a field of moss. Yeah, not so much. It's not really what we're going to drink. So what do you guys drink out there? What do you prefer? Do you prefer Irish whiskey? Do you prefer straight bourbon? Do you straight, uh, straight whiskey? Of the two. Okay, so we answered <laughs> you, Gregory. Beautiful. Thanks. Alcohol. We are not alcoholics because alcoholics go to meetings. All right, so we joke about it a lot. Yes, I had a gin cocktail that my husband greeted me at the door with. He had some rum as he sat on the back porch. But it's also... Oof. Almost 10 o'clock. It, it's 10 o'clock here. We're not drinking a whole lot of these, and you're the one watching us. So what does that say about you? Well, they like to watch a bunch of alcoholics on TikTok. So, um, yeah, I was doing some content for Mash and Ash with a scar, so I just, I genuinely... Like it was a, uh, it was a, um, what was it that I was smoking? It was a Nicaraguan cigar, so I had rum with it. I prefer, you know, Nicaraguan, Dominican. I usually drink rum with it, although bourbon goes just as good. As well, you've also been turned on to some of the better rums. Yes, I have. And I had some Florida Cana 18 year rum. And where did you get that? I believe you picked that up. Well, and you also, the other rum that we absolutely love is the 1888? 1888, yeah. 1888, uh, and this was something that we found, uh, thanks very much to the Drew Estates Barn Smoker Cigar event. And so that was fantastic. They were one of the vendors there, and they had, where do you think were the fan really? came from? Oh, darn, I didn't know that. I thought we didn't yes, discover did. it until uh, Cigars International. So, we went to Cigars International a few weeks later, and I'd had the fan, and I knew it was an amazing rum because I had tried it. And by fan, I mean literally, like, you know, I you flick declare. it open. I yeah. do declare. Uh, and they were passing it out, and it has the emblem on it of the 1888 rum. And we were actually trying different types of old fashioned. So we've had uh, one bar made us a tequila old fashioned, it was fantastic. You do have to add a little more cherry, a little more uh, simple syrup or sugar or something like that. Every old fashioned has a little bit of a different twist to it. Right. And they were making rum old fashions. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yes, it was. And so that's what I asked for. Turned him on to it. So next thing I know, he bought a bottle of it and he's making them at home. Yep. So yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We are going on to the next, uh, the next Irish whiskey. If you are just joining us. My name is John. I'm Sid. We are Mash, Mash and Ash. Ash. What are we drinking? All right, and if you have been watching the whole time, sorry for the repetition. So this is Sloan Irish Whiskey. This is triple cast. Mm. I don't know a lot about Sloan. Hello. Well, you have water in there, so it's not as much as you think. All right, so this is our tiebreaker. So we have two cameras going, so sorry. So this is uh, uh, Beyond Valley. Bonnier Valley. Uh, you probably, and it's Slane. Slane? What did I say? Sloan? Yes. Oh, that's. That was your ex girlfriend. That was a product of the. Uh, so, as far as price points go, for anybody who's been asking, so this was our $23, and I'm just going by either Total Wine and More or uh, Target Liquor Store. Mm -hmm. Those are the two things that come up. This is our $29.99, and this one falls right in the middle at $27. That's one of the great things about Irish whiskey. Whiskey, you can get. get I can't even talk. Now, hang there on, it. Hang on. Yes. You can get great Irish whiskey for not a lot of money. Whew, there you go. You feel better? Yeah. Yeah. This is two cigars and my brain's starting to. All right. So uh, let's try it. You ready? I, I'm sorry. I had a dog distract me. No. Yeah. Ready? Cheers. So straight up the bat. It doesn't smell like anything special. Much smoother. Much. Smoother than either of the other two. Like there's no 
bite, there's no sting. What do you call it? What do you call it that moment that you're kind of like, ooh? I haven't called it bite. So I would say this, I think the Chalamore Dew has probably a little bit more whiskey flavor. This is a little bit more sweeter, of course, because of the sherry cast. But the slain is like pure Irish whiskey. Risky? Irish whiskey. Man, come on, you know I can't say this first. I've been working on him with his, you know, A I O U. Yeah. Pronunciation is not my strong suit. There we go. We'll work on that. Alright. In order. My one, my two, my three. Really? Th this could go to my one, but I just, you know, I'm loyal. Yeah. I would go one, then two, then three. But this is this is phenomenal. Phenomenal, and it's number three. Yeah. Did you say phenomenal? Oh, this is incredible. Did you say phenomenal? It's pretty darn great. It's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, you know. This is your three. Use the word phenomenal. Yeah. Pretty great. Got better than a phenomenal. Ooh, uh, yeah, you're you're right. I see what you're saying. <coughs> Just saying. Yeah. So that's the thing about. You know, we have a lot of different whiskeys and bourbons because we like to try different things. So, we, as you can see right over her head, we love Maker's Mark. We got a bunch of different Maker's Marks. And well, the two little ones in the front uh, are the ones we dipped. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a lot of different types, a lot of different styles. We've got several from the same distillery. Mm -hmm. But um, if you want to try something, this is more along the lines of what whiskey was prior to the advent of bourbon. I feel like this has been the closest to bourbon. Mm -hmm. This one right here. Yeah. And look, and also I'm the person that will go and be like, oh, it's a $25 bourbon. I've never heard of this bourbon. Gosh, I hope it doesn't suck. And I buy it anyway. Yeah. I think I did that this weekend. You did actually. Hey, have you heard nice. of this one? Nope, let's get it. We call those mama's picks. This is uh, this is actually really good. If you like Telemore Dew, uh, I would definitely try the slain because it's a it's a different flavor, uh, but it's not too far off the flavor profile. Thank you, John. Not you, John. That John. Mm -hmm. Tell him or do. Yeah. Look, it, it's it's a classic for a reason. It has been around as long as it has for a reason. Yeah. It sells out on St. Patrick's Day for a reason. Yeah, it's name brand. It's it's kind of like the Jack Daniels of. Ireland. <laughs> you didn't hear that. Baby. I'm not a Jack Daniels fan. I'll drink it, but it's not great. It's not my you favorite. didn't hear that. It's okay. So two thumbs up on the sling. Honestly, two thumbs up on all of them. It's just how enthusiastic is my thumb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I love when we all have. Right. I love when we have multiple tastings and we get to try different flavors, different flavor profiles. Um, we, we've been saving this one for a while, so I'm glad we actually got to do Unintentionally it. Unintentionally saving it. Unintentionally, but I'm glad we They've got to do it. Sitting on the shelf. Uh, so above where you can see, okay, so y'all can see, you can't see. Above uh, the top shelf is either what haven't we tried yet or what doesn't fit on the shelf because it's too yeah. tall. Like we've got some stranding hands that doesn't fit in these shelves, so that's up there, but... We've got a lot of different things up there that we've tried. We've got a lot that we have not tried mm -hmm. that we're going to be doing soon. So, you know, be paying attention to that we'll be putting those out. Um, so you're going back for more Telemore Dew. I almost went back for more of that. Which ones? Yes, because you gypped me. Mm. I can't believe you poured me light. You know, I know you got work to do, so... No, done for the night. So, what are you guys drinking tonight? What are you uh, What are you enjoying uh, in your or, neck of the woods? Oh, or, Sloan! Uh, hang on, Sloan is bottled. Uh, Slain, Slain is bottled. Slain Distillery. <laughs> did Did you have an ex girlfriend named Sloan? Oh wait, uh, it was um, Ferris Bueller's, Ferris Day, Bueller's Day, off. Day off. Sloan. He, he always had a thing. For River the character Sloan. River Boyne, B O Y N E. That's the best I got. Um, Slain Distillery, Slain County, uh, Slain County, Ireland. Well, and my question would be, 
if you were going to go get an Irish whiskey because you have friends co coming over on St. Patrick's Day, what were you gonna get? What would you pick? Would you pick one of these? Do you have a favorite? Or would you just pick the first thing on the Irish display as you walk in the liquor store and run for the hills because liquor stores on St. Patrick's Day are crazy? I think some people would just pick like Jameson because it's the one that most Americans know. And as long as you're not getting like the bottom of the line, the bottom, the bottom shelf Jameson, I think you'd be okay. If you spend a little money and got a little bit higher grade of Jameson, because I got to try some of the, you know, 10, I think I tried 10 or 12 year Jameson and it was amazing. So I moved this over, I saw you moved yours. I moved it over because it looked like I was like sitting on the bottle. Whatever. <laughs> this is what happens when you have two cameras that they're at different angles. Yeah. So about that, let me, let me, let me do some uh, promotion. Uh, we're going to be uh, putting more and more content on YouTube and uh, Rumble and Odyssey. So come find us over there. We're putting longer form videos. We're putting regular size videos, which is why we have the two cameras set up tonight. So we're still TikTok, still Instagram. We've actually started, I can't believe I'm saying this, we actually started a Facebook page. Uh, okay, I believe that more than like Rumble and Odyssey because... Uh, honestly, it sounds like we're in a sci-fi movie and we're just talking about the the random social media things that are out there that nobody's ever heard of. Well, you would say that, but you see the thing about Rumble is... Because I'm old? No. The thing about Rumble is, is YouTube was really hurting a lot of creators who had a more conservative bent, so they mm -hmm. started going to Rumble and Rumble started getting some momentum. And we've actually got a lot of traction over at Rumble, so check that out. And... Some of the cigar guys that I follow are over there, like Cigar Hound Dog and Cigar Daily, and um, there's about five or six other people that I, uh, Cigar Obsession is one of my favorite guys. And there's some bourbon guys doing their stuff over there too, so we're doing more and more rumble and we're, we're putting stuff out on YouTube because everybody has to. Well, and we also, and this is, this is my fault, my apologies. So like I said earlier, um, I was absolutely blessed. I got to go to the uh, Drew Estates Barn Smoker event we still have videos from that that I need to edit and get out there. So yeah. it may not happen this week. It might happen. We actually have a very short vacation coming up at the end of the month. So it may happen while I'm sitting in a cabana. And before anybody wonders, uh, no, we only take a lot of vacations this year because I'm using every drop of my vacation time. Yeah. Hey, Danny, Yellow Spot, is that an Irish whiskey? I've not nice heard of Yellow Spot. Alright. And that is why I am picking up the Library of Alexandria. Yeah. So, while she's looking that up, I just want to go ahead and say I appreciate everybody who's watching lives, everybody who's been supporting us on TikTok. I know that we've gone through a... Well, we had I had COVID, and then we got really super busy. So, we haven't been putting a ton of content up. So, I appreciate everybody that's stuck with us. Um, and I got to give a big, huge shout out to my buddy, Rick Stano, uh, Rick dot, uh, Good job. Rick, uh, Rick, Rick House. He's a Rick House. Uh, so go so, check him out on TikTok. He's all right. a Rick House. Rich, oily, and sweet barley nose combined with a warm, sweet, and rustic palate. And they can't spell palate. It's spelled like a palate jack, like palate. Wow. Where's it from? Is it Irish? Oh, it's Irish. It's not Irish. It's crap. <laughs> I love you. Oh, we're goofy. All right, guys. Uh, what are the questions you guys have? I want to find out more about this yellow spot. Are you spot sure? whiskeys. I'm so grateful. But okay, so Ooh. they have blue spot, green spot, yellow spot. Uh, wow. All right, we have gold spot. And Interesting. All right, so Gold Spot was nine year. Yellow Spot is actually a 12 year whiskey. And then you go Green Spot, which is triple distilled from the Chateau Montalena in Napa Valley. So it seems like they're kind of stealing the idea of like the, the Johnny Walker. So the colors are, are important, that's cool. And Gotta then there's an aged 15 years Red Spot mm -hmm. and then seven years Blue Spot. Wow. Yeah, we'll definitely have to go look at this up. That's what I love about getting into bourbon and cigars even, because bourbon and whiskey and cigars, because there's always more stuff to learn, more stuff to experience, uh, and more stuff to hunt. 
I love looking for, like, we don't get Eagle Rare down here that often. So we've got a couple of restaurants that serve it. It's not that expensive. Hey, it's Milo the Wonder Dog. Milo is not handling. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Gotta get kisses. Say hi. Kiss them. There it's, you go. There's Milo. This is our littlest one. He has learned how to jump up on chairs. Yeah, buddy. And the dining room table and the kitchen island. That's right. So the storm's starting to subside a little bit, so that's that's going both the other dogs are are laying down a little bit. So all right. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add? No. Say hi. All right. See my red hair? I'm Irish. He's Irish. <laughs> Guys, we want to thank you so much for watching. If you want to find us, you can come yeah. here on TikTok or YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Rumble, or Odyssey. We would love to see you over there. Let us know what you're drinking tonight. Let us know what your thoughts are on the three Irish whiskeys that we, we tried tonight. And uh, we appreciate everybody who was watching during the live, leaving comments. And uh, like we always say, cheers. See you in the next video.